This is Spencer Ingley on behalf of the AnyFish development team, here to tell you about our forthcoming paper describing AnyFish. Communication is of fundamental importance in the study of animal behavior and plays an important role in processes such as sexual selection, speciation, species interaction, and social evolution. But due to the complex nature of animal communication, which often involves multiple signals and different sensory modalities, teasing apart the role of individual signals is often experimentally difficult or impossible. For this reason, researchers have long turned to experimental manipulation of natural signals or the creation of de novo artificial signals. Recently, computer animations have offered a promising alternative to using live animals or video playback in animal communication studies. Animations have been used successfully with a variety of taxa, from spiders to fish. However, commercially available animation software is often prohibitively expensive and difficult to use, thus limiting the accessibility of such techniques. In our paper, we present a free 3D animation software platform for creating animations of fish for behavioral research. We call our program AnyFish. AnyFish is freely available for download from the AnyFish website. We've also designed AnyFish to be open source so that end users and developers can add to and improve the functionality of the program. On the AnyFish website, you'll also find the AnyFish user manual and a link to AnyFish YouTube tutorials. To use AnyFish, the end user first needs to complete a series of steps in third-party software. We've designed the process so that it takes advantage of methods commonly used by biologists, such as geometric morphometrics. For all steps, there are both proprietary and freeware software options. The process begins with a digital lateral image of the fish of interest. The end user first creates a thin plate spline file, or TPS file, to capture the body shape of the fish. The image should be landmarked in TPS DIG according to the landmark scheme provided with AnyFish. The TPS file is used within the AnyFish program to determine the shape of the 3D model. The TPS file is also used to match the lateral image of the fish to a default model within AnyFish using a program that we have developed called TPS Transformer. The user first selects the appropriate model, then the TPS file, and the corresponding lateral image. The output is an image that matches the default shape of the AnyFish model. This image will be used as the skin texture of the fish model within AnyFish and will be reshaped to match the desired body shape in a later step. A lateral image of the fish to be modeled is also used to create fins for the 3D models. This can be done using several image manipulation software programs, including Adobe Photoshop. These fin textures are copied and pasted over fin guides provided with the AnyFish download which are then placed into a project folder within AnyFish. This is done by using a tool, such as the pen tool in Adobe Photoshop, to first trace over the shape of the fin. Once the fin is outlined, the user makes a selection based on that path, copies the selection, and then pastes it over a fin guide provided with AnyFish. The end user can then use a function, such as the free transform function in Photoshop, to adjust the shape of the fin so that it matches the shape of the guide as closely as possible. Once this is complete, the fin guide layer is hidden, and the file is saved as a PNG24 format. This process is repeated for all the fins, and the PNG files are placed in the AnyFish project folder. To create an AnyFish project, the end user should first launch the AnyFish executable file. First, the screen resolution and graphics quality of the animation should be set. Next, there is an option to select a pre-existing project, which could include a project shared by a collaborator, or create a new project. For each project created, there is a corresponding project folder in the AnyFish data folder. The project folder contains several subfolders, where the TPS, body, and fin texture files discussed previously should be placed. Once the end user has selected a project, a project editor menu will appear. Here, the end user can select or create a new swimming path for the model, select the fish model to be used, specify animation parameters such as the tank size and the background color of the scene, select a body texture and a TPS file to determine the shape of the fish model. We've designed any fish so that the end user can easily create animations that vary in one or more features while maintaining other features constant. For example, one could modify body shape while keeping body texture and swimming behavior constant by manipulating only the TPS files. Once the path is selected, you will see a path properties menu here in the AnyFish editor. 
where you can set the total length of the video, adjust fin position, and select the camera position. With the free camera, navigate the scene using WASD as arrow keys in conjunction with a right-click mouse toggle. In order to create the swimming path, the end user sets the position, orientation, and fin position of the fish model at any interval required. Using slider bars in the properties menu, the end user can change the position of all of the fins in order to create a custom behavioral sequence. By clicking on the fish, three levers appear. The E and R keys allow the user to toggle between levers used to rotate or change the position of the fish in all three axes. Once the desired position, rotation, and fin position is reached, the end user clicks Set Key, which will record the position of the model at the frame selected. The end user can then proceed to a different frame, set the position of the fish, and so on. The physics system included in any fish will interpolate the movement of the fish in between key frames. To view the path sequence, set the frame rate and click play. This allows the end user to view the animation before it is rendered. Once a path is created, the end user returns to the project editor menu, selects the desired animation parameters, and selects batch render. This will create an image file for every frame of the video. The frames are saved to a project folder in a folder with a name that contains all of the video parameters. Each frame is saved as a bitmap image. AnyFish VM, or Video Maker, is used to create a video from these files. The Video Maker is located in the AnyFish download folder. Open AnyFish VM, click the Video Maker tab, set the desired frame rate of the video, navigate to the folder containing the frames, Select the appropriate video settings and click OK. The final video will be saved in the same directory as the frames. Navigate to the folder and watch your animation. This animation can be used as is or edited to fit any experimental needs using a third-party video software program. The structure of the AnyFish platform allows researchers to easily share their project files with collaborators and publish them to public online databases. This provides transparency that is often lacking in animal behavior research and facilitates the replication of studies that was previously difficult or impossible. As we've seen, AnyFish provides biologists with a free, open source alternative to create realistic 3D fish animations for behavioral research. It is our hope that the ease and flexibility provided by the program will provide a diversity of researchers with a valuable tool to help answer some of the most compelling questions in animal behavior research. For more information, see the AnyFish homepage and the AnyFish YouTube tutorials channel at the links provided.